Hi everyone. Welcome to Heaven Healing and Tarot. This is Christina. Today's pick a card is what surprise is around the corner. So what unexpected thing is coming in for us? Before I get started, I always send out some healing. Take a deep breath with me. All right. Allergies are acting up, as you could probably tell with my froggy voice, but we'll be okay. Um, pile one, purple. Pile two, I'm going to call this pink. It's like maroon, but I'm, it's pink on this inside. So we're going to go with pink. Purple, pink, and this is copper. We're going to go with copper. All right, so take a moment. Pick the pile you are most drawn to, and we'll see what's uh, what's unexpected. All right, pile one, if you chose purple, sorry, had an itch. <laughs> Let's get some cards for you. Let's see what's going on here. Nine of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Six of Cups. Still have an itch. Um, Let's see. Well, some kind of a wish come true. It kind of actually looks like you're going to be offered a job opportunity. It could be an, a new offer in love because six of cups here. But I kind of feel like it might be a job offer. Like maybe going back to doing something that you used to do. Could be some kind of reconciliation. Um, but the three of pentacles is kind of making me feel like it's uh, having to do at work. I don't know. I kind of feel both, to be honest with you. But um, I'm leaning more towards like a, a job offer here. That, you know, you might be afraid to take it. You might be afraid of change. You might be afraid you're taking too much of a risk. Uh, you know, like sometimes... I always say it's better to stay with the devil you know than the devil you don't. So, like, I think I'm kind of getting that kind of a, a feeling like you're comfortable where you're at or you at least you, you're, you know, you know, you have knowledge of what you're doing and you know where you stand. But yet, you know, if you take a risk, if you take a chance, there might be a much better opportunity for you. So I just feel for sure the surprise is that there's going to be an offer coming in. Um, we're going to have to take a look at some more cards to figure out what that offer is about. But right now it could be either love or money, to be honest with you. Let's see. That's a chariot. The chariot and ace of wands. So maybe it is love. No, not necessarily. I mean, you could be passionate about uh, like a job that you love to go to, love to do. Maybe it's a job of helping people. Um, or maybe it's a job that makes lots of money and that excites you. And, you know, maybe closing deals and that excitement of being, uh, you know, on top of your game or something it excites you so it could be it still could be both uh but the chariot says this might this offer is probably coming in pretty quickly and you might have to make a quick decision it might be something you can't procrastinate on um but it's i feel like it's going to be successful for you i think it's a win i like this whatever the surprise is it it feels like it's a good surprise you might be a little nervous about it but Usually, Eight of Swords is, is fear of our own making, you know. Usually, it's we're making it out to be a lot worse than it actually is. So, it might just cause you to overthink a little bit. But I would say, if an opportunity comes in, I'd go for it. Really got reconciliation. Didn't I say that? I think I said that. <laughs> See that quickly, like it, it, le the messages leave. They, they come in and they go. Um, I think I said that with this. It could be some kind of reconciliation here. Again.
again, a reconciliation could be, you know, going back to an old job or an old career, maybe not the same company, but, you know, a career choice or something. It could be like going back and doing something again or finding um, your passion again. You know, you're, you're having a reconciliation with, uh, you know, a certain type of feeling, feeling good again. But I am kind of leaning more towards love now. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta be honest with you. Six of cups. I mean, it usually tells me it's somebody from the past coming back and making an appearance in your life. It doesn't have to be an old romantic partner. It could be anybody from your past. And reconciliation is, you know, finding them again. Centered. I hold my center. So, this is telling you, have faith. Have faith in what's being offered. Have faith in your own discernment. Have faith in you. And be calm about this. Don't, don't get that chaotic thinking. You know, that frenzied, what am I going to do? That panic. Breathe through it. Stay centered. Know that, you know, whatever's coming in is coming in for a reason. And if you're meant to have it, you'll feel like you should take the leap. If you're afraid, it's okay. Like if, if it doesn't work out, you'll find a different solution later on. Don't worry about the future. Worry about what's in front of you and what's going to make you feel the best in the moment. Always got to live in the moment. It's hard sometimes, but we do. We got to stop looking forward so much because I've learned through personal experience that when you look forward, <laughs> it rarely turns out the way that you want it to. I mean, sometimes it does, but I've had the rug ripped out from underneath me so many times. That, you know, I don't worry about the future anymore. It is what it is. It's going to be what it's going to be. And you're going to get through it and deal with it as it comes. Now, I've, you know, done a lot of, you know, dark night of the soul stuff here to get to this place. So I get it. Um, my entire life I was anxious because so, I was worried about the future. It's no way to live. And I learned that the hard way. So just live in the moment. And if you feel like this, whatever this offer is, is a good one for you, even if you're unsure about it, I'd take it. You'll figure things out. You got a new beginning. You got a new beginning coming in. Told you, there's a new start. And I think that you should embrace it. Yeah, find your courage. Look at that. Find your courage. <laughs> Find your center. Look at this. Um, like a jelly donut full of peace. Find your center. Um, yeah, they're like, I think that's their way of saying you're going to be okay. No matter what happens, you're going to be okay. Change in the night. You have changed quickly told you that it's coming in fast. So I just think it's talking about the energy. The energy is coming in quick. You might have to make a quick decision. Okay. All right. Let's see what this last one is. Queen of the Nagas. Number five. All right. Let's see. <sighs> number nine. Oh, just missed it. Here we go. I can see a sacred test task a sacred task exists for you to fulfill I don't know why it was hard to say those three words <laughs> Ta sacred task exists for you to fulfill it is to be found through connection to your heart be open only to those most authentic teachings 
which prove helpful to your continued spiritual progress and personal freedom. Cleansing your body, mind, and heart and soul will be of particular benefit at this time. Powerful, sub, powerful subtle energies are helping ensure your success. Believe that many positive synchronicities and unexpected allies will rally to support you. So again, like this is all about something being surprising. Um, a sacred task exists. So what's coming in is meant for you. All right. And they want you to listen to your heart. They want you to... Um, you know, uh, do what makes your heart feel good at, in the moment. And stop worrying about, like, the surrounding circumstances because there's going to be, um, like, it's going to work itself out. You're going to have help having it worked out for you. So this is going to be successful. Whatever this offer opportunity is, it's going to be very successful. You're going to uh, be able to, work through it. So they're just saying work through the fears, you know, cleanse your body of the, of the fears. All right, let's get some charms here. I still don't know for sure if it's love or money, but either way, it's a great opportunity coming in, even if it makes you scared. All right, let's move these just a little bit and get some room here smitten ah oh, makes me feel like love a wish come true somebody's going to be smitten with you you have a wish come true you have love fear lots of love this might put you at a crossroads like you might have to decide whether this is for you or not but whatever you decide you'll be going in the right direction and i actually think it's for you so again angels are here abundance is coming in for you Sweep out the old, make room for the new. If that's not a sign to move on and take this new opportunity, I don't know what is. Be courageous, be brave. You know, you're going to be learning something here. You've got the teacher apple. So something's going to teach you something or you're learning something. It might bring in a lot more freedom for you, especially if it's a job, right? It might bring in some freedom, the flag. Security. You got the teddy bear here. Security. You're going to be okay. You're, everything's going to work out for you. All right. That is what I have for you, Pile One. Give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment. All those things help, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time. Love and light. Hi, Pile Two. You chose the pink. Here we go, let's get some cards. Nine of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Eight of Wands. Whatever's coming in, whatever surprise it is, it's gonna be a great one. You're gonna be so happy. Like, Ten of Pentacles, abundance in all of its forms, happiness, joy, bliss, love, money. Love it. I love it. Success. The success is coming in for you. Um, something that you can be happy about. Like, um, it's a win. It's a definitely a win. Like, um, a, a raise, a promotion, a new job that you, you know, you, your dream job. You're getting into the school you wanted to get into. Like, it's a big, happy surprise. <laughs> Um, now maybe it's about love, but I kind of feel like it's more about like your career and, and, and just like maybe accomplishments in your life. Like maybe you're, you know, like, uh, I don't know why this is popping into my head, but maybe you're a cheerleader and you get on the, like the, the, the ultimate cheer team, like you get accepted <laughs> or something like, or maybe like you make varsity, you know what I mean? Like it's like. It's a big win for you. Like maybe you get drafted 
maybe you get to, you know, drafted to play in college or something. Or maybe you get drafted to the, the pros. I don't know. But there's something, there's a big win here. A big win. So for most of you, it's probably going to have to do with your career, right? Getting that recognition uh, that you've worked hard for because you deserve it. All right. So I think that that's what this is. And I think uh, you're going to be excited about it. Let's see. Yep. A cycle's ending, a new beginning. And Four of Pentacles. This is the world, by the way. Four of Pentacles is uh, about, you know, building a firm foundation, like growing something, like really a sturdy, steady, stability type thing coming in. And it could be that, you know, somebody asked you to marry them. It absolutely could be that and building a solid future for yourself. But I really do feel like most of, for most of you, it's some kind of other win. I don't know how else to describe it, you know? It's just something really great. It's good news. It's good news coming in for you. And, uh, yeah, you're about to begin something, something new here. Truth. All right, so we have truth here twice, kind of, uh, with the Queen of Swords. The, the Queen of Swords is all about honesty, truth, see, having clarity, uh, knowing the decisions, cutting through all the BS. So I really do feel like some truth is coming out. I kind of feel like it's more about knowing knowing that this is meant for you, knowing that uh, whatever this opportunity or exciting news is, like it's, you could see that it's meant for you. Like you could see yourself, uh, you know, the hard work that you did to get here or whatever. Like you know that this is meant for you. Balance. My needs will be met. So what I'm what I'm thinking this card means is more like um, and maybe this is where the truth comes in too. Like this opportunity like is amazing. It's it's amazing, but there's some you know some scary things that go along with it. Like. Say you got accepted into the best college, you know, your number one choice, but that college is clear across the country or in another, you know, country or in another country, you know what I mean? Like somewhere far away. So you'll have to, you know, find living arrangements and, and come up with the funds to support yourself there. So there might be some concern, right? Because I think like the clarity is here, like you're seeing things, you're seeing the reality of the situation, even though it's a good thing that you're seeing, you're like, you don't have rose colored glasses on, you're, you're seeing it clearly, you're seeing like, what this is going to take or what how this is going to affect you. And this is saying, everything's happening for a reason, and that your needs will be met, you will be okay. There, there will be a way to make this work. The divine physician. Well, this is Archangel Raphael. And Archangel Raphael is the healer, right? So he heals the mind, the body, and the spirit. Um, it might just be your mental health over this, right? Like um, being worried, being scared. Maybe it was... You know, you worked yourself up in a frenzy, frenzy before you got the good news. I don't know. There's something here. I don't know why Raphael's here, but he's here to help. Again, your needs are going to be met. So and maybe Raphael's just coming in as a comfort, just saying, I got you. I see what you're going through. Don't worry. Everything's going to be fine. I don't want you to stress too much.
now I got health care change. Now I know this is all good stuff. So I don't want you to be scared of these two cards because I don't want you to think that you're going to get sick here. But if you are sick, you're getting better. Okay. I don't think it's going to the, to the negative. I, it's definitely the energy in the positive here. So this is only if you have, if you are, you know, in the process of going through something medical and I'm not a doctor, I'm just giving you a message that I'm, that's coming through. If you are going through something medical, I do believe that there will be a change for the better. Okay. That's, that's only if that's your story. If that's not your story, just leave that alone. Um, are you kidding me? All right. There's another reason for that. And again, this might not be your story, but they just showed it to me. It's as literal as it can be. If you are in the medical field, you could be changing jobs. Oh, it's just something, something as literal as that. There's a change in your career. Other than that, I think it's just saying, you know, they want you to stay, uh, you know, do some self-care through all this. This might be some pressure that comes in with this big win. You know, sometimes there's pressure, pressure to perform well or, or things of that nature. So just keep your health, your mental health in check here. Pay the piper and move on. Drop and give me zen. Um, yeah, the, again, mental health. They want you to just relax. Do what you got to do. You'll get through it. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to work out. Be in the present. Okay, so this is saying stop worrying about uh, what happened in the past. Don't worry about the future. Just be in the present. All right. Everything's happening now, and we'll deal with what comes at us now. Don't stress over something that happened in the past. All right, we'll figure it out. Theta of Venus. All right, number 25. Let's see what that's all about. Attune yourself to higher consciousness by choosing to access the purest frequencies of love within. So, be calm, love yourself. Okay, don't give in to your fears. Acknowledge lower frequencies such as judgment, fear, doubt, or shame when they arise within you, but don't give them a foothold in your heart. So, in other words, fear, feel them. The only way through some, the only way around something is through it. So. If you're feeling fear, feel feel it, but don't let it take a hold. Don't let it grip. Don't stay there. All right. You are ready for higher understanding to know, to see things in a new and more perspective light. Allow your inner knowing to guide you on a unique, beautiful, and highly spiritual path. All right. So, again, I see a big win here, but, you know, they are talking about, like, maybe a complication like, don't fall into the negative, right? And don't let those fears hold you. Don't let them stop you from following your heart and doing what you truly desire, all right? And and by please, just don't work yourself up into a frenzy, you know? Don't give yourself a panic attacks over this. Stay calm. Have faith that things are going to work out for you. Have faith that you have Archangel Raphael here. I mean, he's an Archangel, if he's coming out saying, you know, I got you, he's got you. All right, so things are going to work out beautifully. All right, what do we got? Birthday bash? Somebody's birthday coming up? 
I don't know. But if that's not somebody's birthday in like within a week or so, a week, a couple weeks or so, then that's talking about just a win, a celebration. You know, a happy time. We're going to celebrate. Now you have the divine masculine here, my little my little guy charm. Um you know, they really want you to embrace the masculine. Be strong, be brave, be courageous. You know, step into that power of yours. You can fix whatever breaks. You know, you're going to be able to handle this. Whatever goes wrong, you'll be able to fix it. You have love here. So, uh, you know, like maybe, I mean, this could be something. They just showed me this when I had the heart. Um, I know sometimes I can't get the messages out. And I apologize. If, like, say your situation is a situation like this where you're going away to school, all right? You got accepted to a college far away, and uh, you're so excited about it, but at the same time, you're leaving the love of your life here. You're leaving your boyfriend here, right? And that's going to cause problems because long distance isn't easy, and you know that. And this is saying you'll be able to fix that. You'll be able to work through it. Okay, all these cards are saying that. So if that's your situation, you've got this, all right? Or a situation like that. Luck is on your side. You got the ladybug. And again, you got the tree here. So we are building a firm foundation. We are building stability here. You're going to be grounded and you're going to expand. So this is beautiful. Trust your intuition. You have the elephant here. That your intuition and your is not going to steer you wrong. All right. You have grapes. Grapes are a sign of abundance for me. All right. Because only rich people way back in the Egypt times could afford grapes. All right. So grapes are a form of abundance. And isn't it, isn't it funny that I used a cheerleading? Uh, example and we got the megaphone <laughs> we got the megaphone so I, I kind of feel like um, that it was a real scenario for somebody because I I never use cheerleading as an example but um, that's funny um, but also like I feel like you're going to be able to like like you're going to be heard you know, like your your voice is going to be amplified from this or or like you're going to be amplified in some way from the situation. Like it's a win, like it's excitement and it's like. Um, like you matter type of thing, like like you feel like you matter, you matter, oh, everybody matters, but you feel like you matter, you feel important, you feel like this is you're going to do good in the world, you feel like there's a purpose here. That's what I meant by all that. <laughs> Couldn't get it out. Anyway, pile two, that is what I have for you. Uh, I think you got an exciting win coming in. It might be a little scary, but you're going to be just fine, and you're going to be able to handle it, and, and uh, everything's going to be great. All right, so that's what I have for you. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All of those things help me, and I appreciate you for it. Till next time, love and light. All right, pile three, if you chose copper, let's get some cards for you. Two of wands, the moon, knight of swords, strength, eight of cups. All right, what do we got here? Playing the waiting game, trying to decide which direction you're going to choose. Being confused about what you should do, but being de bound and determined to overcome the obstacles in your way, finding your courage to walk away from something. So you're actually, the surprise is you have an, another direction to go in. Like you have an option, you have a choice. 
and maybe this is something you've been thinking about for a while. But you're, I feels like you're choosing. This is the Eight of Cups for me is always about like I'm making the decision to walk away. I'm making the, the decision to leave. It's, it's, you know, I might not have caused the reason why I want to leave, but I'm choosing to do it. Like nobody's forcing me to leave. So I kind of feel like, yeah. The, the, the blessing is or the surprise is that there's a new opportunity and you're finding the courage to walk away from something and go towards it. You're, you're choosing your path. Like it's like you finally uh, found the motivation or the courage to, to, to make your change that you've been thinking about or go to going towards something that you might have been scared to go towards. Whether that be a new relationship or, you know, a new uh, career move or making a move, like picking up your living space and, and completely moving somewhere else. Uh, I think if you've been thinking about it, you're finally, like, you're finding courage or something here. You're finding some kind of motivation. All right, let's see. Nine of Cups, Ace of Swords, yep. Wish fulfillment, new beginning. New triumphant beginning, right? So absolutely something new. You're walking away from something, starting something new. Then the surprise may be, like you're surprising yourself. You didn't think that you had the courage to do it. But some some kind of bug crawled up your butt and you're doing it. <laughs> I mean, I know that's not a pleasant example, but I don't want to say somebody lit a fire because that's not really that energy. It's more like, like, uh, you know, when you're like restless for a while and like, you just like, you, you got all of a sudden you like, you got to get up and got to do something. You got, you just got to like, it's like a hyperactivity type of energy that I'm feeling like, and so you're making like a decision, like this is stupid. I'm just going to do it type of type of um, energy like you don't want to feel like anxious about it anymore you don't want to feel that restlessness anymore you're just going to do something clarity all right so it, it could be because you kind of got a little bit more clarity on something that could have been part of the surprise where some, some information came in and you're like, ah, oh, now I know what I should do. Protection. You're safe. You're safe if you make this move. You're safe if you walk away. You're fine. You're, everything's going to be fine. Don't hate, meditate. <laughs> So there might be your motivation, right? Somebody might have ticked you off. Somebody might have made you mad. Maybe, you know, you, you got clarity somehow. Like maybe your boss like said something like to the fact that you're never going to make partner. You're never going to, you know, rise up the ranks. And you're like, hmm. Now I know why. Now I know why I felt restless. Now I know why I need, I need to leave. You just gave me my motivation. But don't hate them. Be grateful, actually, that they gave you the clarity that you needed to do what was best for you. Because they could have kept it in the dark for a while more. They could have strung you along. You know, and that might not be your exact situation, but it's something along those lines where somebody gave you the clarity. Be thankful for that. That's hard. It's hard not to be angry, but this is saying you should be grateful for it because it's giving you an opportunity to make a change, a change for your highest good, a change for the better. Oh, you're kidding me. Look at this new career. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I absolutely think you're, you're, you're definitely uh, having a new fresh start somewhere else. Now you have, there's better stuff on the horizon. 
give that stuff up. So walk away because there's better things on the horizon. Don't beat yourself up. Just let it go. Let it go. Stay calm. Meditate. Don't hate. All right. This is happening for me, not to me. But I want to be queen. <laughs> of course you do. You want to be a leader. You're tired of somebody else's holding the keys to your kingdom. Of course you want to be queen. You want to be the leader of your own life. No? Well, you're taking the first step here. You're making a move. Telepathy of Terra Matter, number 36. Let's see. The pathway for your spiritual fulfillment and the sacred manifestation of your purpose is not necessarily logical and will evolve organically. The skillful and unpredictable workings of Earth Mother are supporting your soul's journey unconditionally. Following up on inspired ideas and allowing for unexpected shifts in direction are integral to the manifestation of your soul's purpose. Commit to an idea that feels good to your heart, even if it seems improbable or unattainable. It will manifest successfully. So believe in this change. Believe that you're walking away for the best. Believe in what you're going towards. You know, have faith. And it's all going to work out and manifest to your highest good. So just believe in this. Right? Believe in you. Don't beat yourself up. All right? So you, there is the surprise is that something's like coming to a head here and you're going to end up walking away. And uh, you're making a new, a new path for yourself in whatever aspect of your life. I mean, it doesn't necessarily have to be career, even though new career came out. It could be new love life. It could be new relationship, walking away from an old one. But for the most of you, it's probably going to have something to do with your career. All right. Let's pull you some charms. Don't worry, you're going to have reasons to smile. All right, you've got this. Cupid's here. So maybe it is about love life for some of you. All right, or, or you know, it could be like you're going to love your new life. Trust your intuition. All right, don't worry about independence. You've got this. You, look, you've got the cat twice. You've got two cat charms. So this is like, again, saying you can take care of yourself. You can handle this. Like you've got this. You have good instincts and you know what's best for you. All right. So, yeah, you're going to leap ahead and you're going to go. You're going to move in a new direction. But this is a gift that's coming in. So I feel like it's going to be like um, somebody's offering this to you. And it might feel like it's going to be a journey, you know, but and in a way it is, you know, you're leaving one moving, you know, taking a new path to something else. So it is kind of a journey, but you're going to learn along the way. And it's this is definitely for your highest good. All right, you're you're growing, you're growing and you're supported. I've been staring at this last charm. It's Hello Kitty. And Hello Kitty for me is a childhood charm. So I don't know what that has to do with this reading. I really don't. Other than, you know, maybe somebody from your childhood gives you a new opportunity. It's the only thing I can think of at the moment. But maybe you can tie it in uh, for you, for your situation. But, all right, Pile 3. That's what I got. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, leave me a comment. All of those things help me and I appreciate you for it.
until next time. Love and light.